Hello friends and welcome to another unboxing and assembly video. I'm checking out this three tear rolling utility cart. Features some uh, pretty strong like, metal here. That's it for the box. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess this thing holds up to like 100 pounds, so it should be fairly sturdy. Um, this is like powder coated uh, metal here. So that's, that's pretty legit right there. All right, let's see what we got. Got some instructions here. Got some uh, pretty heavy duty casters there for rolling around those uh, 360 degrees. All right, I think I'll just do a quick little assembly here if possible with a few screws and an Allen key. And all these are nicely uh, wrapped up here so they don't get all damaged during um, Shipping. Okay. And then these got these um, pretty sweet little mesh um, cart or uh, yeah, baskets, I guess would be the best word for it, or shelves shelves and some higher walls there. Okay, it's got kind of a cool design there. These are metal as well. That's pretty neat. So there's one there, and these are just slightly bigger. So this is A. A is the biggest one, then B, then C. So maybe I should have kept those bags on there, but that's all right. So nice little design there. Let's get rolling on here. Okay, so uh, a is on the bottom, B and C is on the top. Okay, so let's do this, shall we? We can put some Legos together. This shouldn't be too difficult. Um, looks like we have our casters are going to go in there. So these are going to go like this. Something like that. They can handle that. These just go together. All right. Fairly simple there. And tighten with screw H. Okay, these are our H screws. There's one there. And these are just going in the bottom of this right here. No problem there. Okay, I can basically just hand tighten these in here and then I'll tighten it down more once I get the uh, rest of it on there, I think. Okay, there's that. And then A is this one right here. A goes on there and it's going to be secured by splice D tube with E and later assemble with A with screws. Okay, seems fairly basic. Those are going to go in there. Yes, and those are going to screw into that. Okay, just make sure your screw hole is facing towards that portion there. Okay. Seems rather uh, not so difficult so far. And then we'll just take some screws and then these have a little uh, metal area here that the screws go through. And they're going to go right into the metal portion there. And we'll tighten that down. Just hand tightening all this right now. All right, and same for this one. Okay, just kind of want to flop around a little bit, but that's okay. Just get our screw hole lined up there and screw it in, shall we?
There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So these are going to obviously be upright here. That. So we'll get our other ones in here real quick. I am not left handed, so. going in a little bit slower than normal okay there's another one and then here's this one here just want to kind of get that there you know what I'm just gonna rotate this so I can use my right hand and be a little bit better there back out the screw a little bit and then just get it lined up there Really wants to dance around on me. Okay, so there we go. Actually, set two was, or step two was getting in these casters. So we're just gonna screw these in right here. Oh boy, so. These are gonna take a little while because this thing rotates and uh, You don't really have any way of, well, maybe we do actually. Okay, we kind of do. So I thought I was gonna have to just sit there and screw the screw in the whole time. So it just takes a while if you're doing that, but um, I can actually grab the top of the caster and then rotate it. So that's going in a lot better. Okay, then I can just tighten it with this wrench here. Perfect. Okay, that was better than I dared hoped. So like I said, this top part here can just be rotated. I had to do some casters the other day and on something and that was not the case. And it was like the worst angle ever. So I basically built the entire thing and then it took me about 15 minutes just to screw the casters in because it was just some weird, um, just some weird angle and just a little uh, wrench there and it was just, it was just crazy how long it took to do that. So this is really nice that I can just rotate the top of this caster all the way until it's almost tight and then just finish it off with that. So here we go on this one here. I'm just gonna take this over to the side a little bit and then screw that in. All right, my friends. So this is not a bad installation. Uh, first impression is this thing is super, super sturdy. It says it holds up to like 100 pounds. And I, I believe that. Everything about this seems, uh, is telling me it's got some sturdiness to it. So that is good. All right. I'm really liking that I can, I'm able to screw these in with just basically my hands the whole time. So that is super convenient. And then just tighten it off right there. Okay, I think I can finish off these ones here. Well, maybe not yet. Okay, so there we go. Whoa, whoa, those are kind of dancing around there a little bit. Okay, next step three, we got those on there. And then we're gonna put in our other ones here. Just make sure your holes are facing the correct direction there. That's gonna sit squared off right there. So your holes are facing in towards the shelf where the shelf's gonna be. Okay, there's one and two. Nicely done there. Shouldn't have any issues. Now it says to get our shelf uh, B. So the B shelf is the next one. And clearly that's gonna go in between just like the other ones we had there. 
and make sure it goes in the hole, the appropriate hole. Oop, make sure it's not cross-threaded though. It's kind of important. All right, that's giving me a little bit of a trouble there. Just want to make sure I get Okay, that one's good. Might have to come back to that first screw. It kind of wants to be, seems to be a little bit cross-threaded there and I don't want that to happen to me, so. Let's get this one in here. easily so I got this one so I got two screws that are just giving me a little bit of trouble they don't want to go they don't want to go in their home there for whatever reason so I just got to persuade them that this is the best thing to do here okay so two went in rather easily I got those in and now these ones I just got to make sure that hey we're not cross-threaded or anything. We're going in how we're supposed to be going in there. Okay, there we go. That one's going in there finally. And we'll come over to this one here. And see what's up with this one. All right, so it's looking like it's pretty straight now. So now I can try to screw that in. I wonder if I should just kind of maybe try to give it a little go here and see no i just don't want to cross dead my screws so we're just going to be a little patient i'm just going to back it out and then try again there we go well no this is probably the hardest part is is this one right here and just trying to make sure that my threads are okay here and not getting messed up, so. Okay. There we go. I just gave it a little bit of uh, extra pepper there. And it seems to be going in all right now. That's good, okay. And before I get this last one in here, just like this and let's hope that all our screws want to cooperate this time unlike that last time you know, it might be easier if I just lay this on the ground here so we're gonna give that a try that might be a little easier actually since I won't have all this resting on those so once again just line up my screw holes here oh yeah that's that's a lot easier. I should have done that with the other one there. Not fighting, not fighting it there. Okay, just kind of screw this one in here as well. Should be rather easy. Oh yeah, that one in there real good. No problem there, no struggle or nothing. Okay, and now this one 
just line up my screw holes on this. And once again, it's the left hand, so. Okay, we got it, okay, not bad. Now we can just simply go to the task of uh, tightening, tightening all these screws down and calling it good. So pretty easy build there. I'm just gonna go start right here and I'm just gonna tighten, tighten up all the screws. Um, I think I'm just gonna set this here. So on a flat surface, make sure that's all good. Should kind of level itself out there pretty well. And then I'll just tighten these screws down and we'll be good to go. Okay, that's good there. That's good there. Okay, that's good there. And that one's good there. Just go on to the next ones. Easy as pie. And then we can uh, kind of put whatever we want in these. Pretty confident in this actually. I feel like this is a fairly sturdy uh, cart here for sure. I mean, being all metal, um, it feels really sturdy as well. So, okay, screw those in. There we are. Okay, there's that. Looks like we only got uh, three more to, or I'm sorry, four more to go. There we are. And what's nice about these is if it is a little bit off, we have those casters that we can just simply unscrew a little bit if necessary. Okay, I forgot there was four in this basket here, so tighten those down with the little Allen key portion and then come back and give it a nice full twist there with the longer handle. There we go. Oh yeah, that is super sturdy, my friends. I really like that. And then we just have the screws on the bottom here. Right here, just give these a nice little turn. And the final screw right here. Let's do it. Okay, so these, there's two casters and uh, they have a little break on here as well on the back too. These spin around pretty much however you want them to go. And there we have it. Okay, so why is that at an angle there a little bit? I feel like rolling around decently all right well there it is the table is pretty good and if there is one that's a little lower than the other one they seem to kind of settle out real it's not necessarily for just pushing things around on um, but you can kind of guide it around put whatever you want in there it's pretty nice okay my friends let's uh Put some stuff in there and see how it looks. All right, my friends, just to demonstrate, I have 130 pounds of weight on here and it is holding it just fine. I can still roll it around on these little casters if I want to. So it's doing just good. It is actually really sturdy. So whether you're putting weights on there or other stuff, this thing gets the job done. 
All right, well, here's another way we could use this. Just put a bunch of pantry items on there or set it up. You could put plants on here, a whole bunch of different things, guys. And I like how the shelves are nice and deep. So stuff isn't gonna fall off of there. Um, you could use it as a little end table, you know, on by your bed or by the end of your couch. Lots of different uses for this. Just a really sturdy cart that looks nice and is gonna last a long time. Anyways, my friends, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time.